Hearts are popular any time of year and with everyone. Hi, this is Penny Halvern from QuiltBlockLibrary.com and QuiltBlockLibrary.tv. I remember folding hearts, little paper hearts, and weaving them. Uh, they're Danish hearts and making like little paper baskets. These were pretty cool and they were, um, they, they were open in the center. Well, I found this quilt block called Woven Heart, which reminded me of those paper hearts. This one is just going to be one dimensional. You can sew it into a quilt or make a wall hanging. I've got all my pieces cut out, so let's go over to the sewing machine and put it together. This block is going to be interesting to put together and it's going to end up that I'm going to sew it kind of diagonally, if that makes sense. But the first thing I'm going to do is finish this center piece. And so I'll just sew these uh, squares together, and then I'll come back and sew the third set of squares together. Now I've got these two sewn together, so I'll just go ahead and add this third set on and stitch, and stitch down the seam allowance. Now I'll just sew the top and bottom rows together here, or the top and center row. And now I'll add the bottom together, and then this center unit will be finished. Next step here is to sew this little triangle onto this strange shape right here. And then I'm also going to sew this other side of the strange shape onto the center section. Now I'm going to sew these two sections together. And then after that's done, I'll sew this bottom triangle onto the bottom. Now I've got the bulk of the center done here, and I'm ready to add this big triangle onto the side, and once that's done, I'll be ready to add these little final triangles to make the square. Now we just have one little triangle in this corner, and one in that corner. This woven heart quilt block is all ready for a, a quilt or a wall hanging. This was pretty fun, and it was pretty easy to go to sew it together. Thanks for joining me. This is Penny Hallgren from QuiltBlockLibrary.com and QuiltBlockLibrary.tv. If you're not already over there, head on over to quiltblocklibrary.com and get your free download of this pattern. Thanks again, and peaceful piecing.